sure you're logged in obviously click start computer now right click manage now you'll see there's quite a few options here I wouldn't worry about it we just want to go straight to configuration you want local users and groups so we're going to create a user I've already created a test user there but I'm going to create another one for the purpose of this video so we're going to go new user we're going to call him outsource2 we're going to call her Freddy and we're just going to give it a test account and we're going to give it a password you can also make the user change their password so you don't need to know but I'm going to show you some uh, configuration so let's create the user user's created there it is so left click and then right click properties okay so you can disable account here you can f make the user change password member of has to be in the user group profile you don't need to worry about environment you don't need to worry about session end and disconnect session after one day so they can't stay in longer than a day permanently logged on uh, it's not good for your employees to do that anyway but majority won't uh, active session limit we uh, make it uh, we'll make it a day and idle timeout is three hours now the reason why you want it three hours is if you're running processes uh, if there's processes running and the users disconnected the processes will still keep running it's only when the user is logged out then uh, when the user is logged out all the processes that that user is running will stop so we'll hit make sure that uh, when session limit is reached or connection is broken disconnect from session not end session because if you click end session that will drop all the processes so just make sure it's just disconnect allow connection from any client because if 